Hodgkin's syndrome is when a baby is born dependent on legally prescribed or illegally obtained drugs used by the mother during pregnancy. Babies of mothers who drink alcohol during pregnancy may have similar condition. NAS can have a number of negative effects on the baby and usually NAS babies require longer hospitalizations. There has been a tenfold increase in NAS babies born in Tennessee from 2000 to 2010. According to TenCare, a baby with NAS costs five to six times more than a baby without NAS in 2010. When talking to your doctor about possible use of addictive substances, it is important to be honest. This will help you and your baby receive the best care. Any information that you share is confidential. All women are routinely screened for drug and alcohol use that either may become pregnant or are pregnant. The earlier a problem is identified, the better the outcomes for you and your baby. Your doctor may ask you questions such as, did any of your parents have a problem with alcohol or drug use? Does your partner have a problem with alcohol or drug use? In the past, have you had difficulties in your life because of alcohol or drug use, including prescription medications? And in the past month, have you had any alcohol to drink or used any other drugs? Illegal and legal drugs should be avoided during pregnancy because these substances travel through the placenta and directly affect the baby. Not only do you put your life at risk, but also your baby's life. These babies are at risk for a long for long-term developmental issues and brain structure changes. These babies will most likely be premature, have a low birth weight, or even death. Additionally, behavior problems occur in early childhood, including difficulties with memory and attentiveness, which will not only cause problems for them at school, but in life in general. Other defects will affect the heart and urinary tract, along with the risk of having a lower IQ and smaller head. when a mother is receiving treatment drugs such as pain medication and can also occur when a mother is abusing a prescribed medication or using an illegal drug. Sometimes mothers are prescribed a drug called methadone to treat the addiction. However, this drug also causes NAS. During pregnancy, the goal is to minimize withdrawal and prevent relapses. The mother may be offered methadone for opioid dependency. Based on recent evidence, there is minimal risk associated with tapering op opioids during pregnancy. When the baby's drug supply is cut off, the central nervous system becomes overstimulated, causing signs and symptoms of withdrawal, such as seizure activity. If your baby is born with NAS, they may exhibit these signs and symptoms. Diarrhea, excessive crying or high-pitched crying, Fever, seizures, tremors, blotchy skin coloring, excessive sucking, hyperactive reflexes, poor ability or inability to feed, rapid breathing, sleep problems, slow weight gain, sneezing, and sweating. Symptoms can vary by the drug involved. They may, be, they may begin shortly after birth or may take up to two weeks to appear. Abused drugs throughout pregnancy will be assessed using a Finnegan scoring tool, which is performed during the first two hours of life and continuously every four hours by the nurse. The nurse follows this tool by assessing 21 signs and symptoms of withdrawal. This assessment focuses on three systems of the body, central nervous system, metabolic, vasomotor, and respiratory disturbances, and the gastrointestinal system. Earlier in the segment, the signs and symptoms of withdrawal were expressed. Overall, if the nurse assesses the baby greater than 24, the baby will be treated with withdrawal. NAS is hitting our communities both large and small. Hospitals like East Tennessee Children are overwhelmed by the number of babies suffering from NAS. They are diligently searching for the best treatment and outcomes for these babies. Treatments include swaddling in blankets, feeding schedules, and dark, calm areas. Weaning babies off of drugs is often done with small doses of morphine to prevent painful withdrawal and seizure. As a community, we must educate ourselves, advocate for these babies, and donate to organizations such as Rockabye Butterfly. 100% of donations given to this organization is used to find better treatment for NAS babies. Together we can ensure a bright future for the in these innocent babies. <laughs>